Hey guys, Doug here from Motion, back with another Tech Tip Tuesday. We just got back from LS Fest. Man, we're all super pumped at the shop. But a couple things have been bugging me after being at LS Fest this weekend. It was a great event, lots of fun, cool people, awesome cars, everybody's going fast. But, you know, as I go through the pits, as I talk to people, as I watch the racing, there are so many people that are just ignoring the most basic safety item that is needed and that is the engine diaper and i know i've made a video about it before um kind of just explaining what it is but man let's just talk about the engine diaper for a minute because everybody's out there sending it me included when i go race i send it there's no there's no medium boost for me it's all the way up and uh that's fine when you're at a test and tune friday night and all that stuff but you have to really think about the consequences of you sending it with a unknown tune-up or just at the very limit and edge of what your car is capable of doing and your bottom end's built for and everything. It affects way more than you when that thing comes apart. Number one, we're most uh, concerned about your safety. We want you to go home, we want you to have fun, you know, not get hurt, not be in a hospital, not have to tell your family you got uh, maimed or killed in a car wreck, but also you have to think about not only the person next to you who, if you get oil on your tires and you come across the lane, you're gonna mess those people up. You're gonna mess their car up. And if my guess is that you can't afford to replace their car. So it's really kind of rude if you think about it to not take the proper safety precautions to help avoid that for yourself and you. And thirdly, for the event itself, uh, the LS Fest, I think on Saturday, had like eight or nine hours of downtime from oil cleanups. And that's just ridiculous. I mean, I know things happen, but multiple of those uh, cleanups could have been avoided if you would invest in your own safety and uh, equipment that is also required by uh, mandate. I know at the race they required a diaper on cars and you know whether the track enforces it or not we should be enforcing it ourselves. Uh, shame on the track for not enforcing their own safety rules. It's to their own advantage to have the event go well. There were a lot of people there and you know just a few incidents really ruined things. But I'll get down off my soapbox and my high horse. I just want to kind of talk about one specific incident, which didn't get talked about a lot because it was a, sim a much simpler cleanup. Uh, our buddy John Capizzi, a lot of people know who he is. He's a stock block hero, if you will. He's got a new white Mustang and that thing's super fast. And this weekend he was out racing at LS Fest like a lot of people. Things scattered. I don't know if I've ever seen an engine come apart as bad as him, like short of like a pro mod car. The thing literally put windows all over down the block. It lost multiple pistons. The thing's going in the fours and the eighth mile. So it's moving, it's grooving. He could have had the most atrocious wreck you've ever seen, but he had an engine diaper. And, you know, I for one, we created these engine diapers for all these engines so that you guys could be safe. Uh, of course, it helps our business. Um, I don't care where you buy them from. Also, you know, there's an option to have a belly pan, but John messaged me last night on uh, Facebook and said, hey, I know people argue about belly pans and engine diapers and which one's better, which one's not. I personally think it's good to have either or both if, if it's nothing versus that. Um, but he said, this is why an engine diaper is the most important. And uh, as you can see with these pictures, the, bl the block broke up high. Um, it didn't break down low. And when you think about the speeds these cars are going, 150, 160, 170 in the eighth, even 110, 20, 30, 40, uh, there's a lot of wind underneath. So when these blocks come apart, you know, halfway up the block, that's really going to, you know, there's a lot of velocity. So oil, parts, everything are gonna come out the side. And as you can see um, in these pictures, and he'll, he explains in the video he sent me, which I'll play this video right now, the block, uh, the only thing that made it past the block is what came out, uh, you know, in this gap here. Now these diapers are mandated to come up within an inch or so of the heads and it's hard to go past that because you have headers and everything. But those are the only pieces that made it past and boy did they make it past. They went through his wheels, they actually went into the sidewall of the track. So that was like one of the most spectacular engine blowups I've seen. But the good thing is it caught all the stuff from here down. He said in the diaper, when he got pulled over, it had uh, at least three quarts of oil. He accounted for almost all of the oil that came out of the engine uh, by way of what was left in the block and what was at the bottom of the pan. But you can see the, the pieces in the pan, in the diaper right there. You know, 
those pieces coming out, we all think about oil and stuff, but the pieces themselves, those get under your rear tires. You know, the more pieces there are, the more chances it's gonna get under your rear tire, it's gonna pop a tire, go across the lane, T-bone the next guy, go over the wall, hit a spectator or whatever. So, I again, I, I feel like anything's better than nothing, but I think a diaper is a really good option. And if you don't have one, you should absolutely have one. Um, I think these tracks and these events need to put a bigger focus on that because while I, this weekend I saw people racing nine second cars and t-shirts and lap belts and stuff, and that's just crazy to me. Uh, the diaper would at least keep the event going. You know, if you're gonna be completely oblivious and not care about people's safety, whatever, but at least have diapers to keep you from going across the lane, to keep somebody coming across the lane from you, everybody goes home safe, the event keeps moving. Uh, so just something to consider. I, I don't like to get on a high horse and preach and make people feel bad and I'm not trying to single anybody out because we all get to that point where you get a project done, you're excited about it, it's going fast or it goes faster than you think it should and all of a sudden it's blowing parts up, it's breaking and you're like, oh man, I never thought about safety. It's the last thing I ever thought about. So that's kind of why I'm here. I just think that, uh, you know, I hope that me preaching, me bringing it up, me talking about it and I hope others pick it up as well kind of puts a little bit of perspective on things. Think about you, think about the guy next to you, his family, your family, the event. Nobody wants to go, you know, pay a bunch of money and travel across the country and go watch uh, the rotator, the dragger go down the track for nine hours. It's just terrible for everybody. So be respectful, follow the rules. I think it makes everybody's life better. It makes everything safer, protects your investment and the guy next to you's investment. And uh, we all have a fun time and this sport continues to grow like it is. We're super excited. We so appreciate seeing everybody this weekend and uh, hope to see everybody out next time. Thanks for tuning into this Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, there'll be a lot more to come, but hope this one helps.